This is Massive Wiki Wednesday for January 12th, 2022. Um, and today we wanted to play with SyncThing and Obsidian, and maybe a little bit with PageNews, our new recent changes utility. Um, so Michael, you've graciously volunteered to be our, our crash test dummy. Um, uh, I, I wonder, Maybe this is a question for you, but it's also, I guess, for Bill. I, I wonder, should we kind of show you on one of our computers what what we're up to? Or should we just kind of like charge ahead on your computer and then magically it will turn into a wiki and stuff? Um, well, if, I mean, I'm wondering if it wouldn't help. You're on a Mac, right? Yep. Um, to like see you doing can I, things can I get a I tour around really, you know um, yeah. get a tour or something yeah yeah um, okay so I, I i would like to i so i i don't know how to say this i think we'd be good to show michael my screen because it's really minimal you have a lot more okay wikis and so this is going to look more like him if he gets started totally fair. just yep. okay so just let me do a quick and i'll just show you what once you have sync thing running, what the if you look at the web page, what will kind of look okay. look like for you? That's good. Um, I've started a, a HackMD page too, so I'll put that in the chat. Yeah, uh, I'm just um, going to share the big. Got, we don't have to use HackMD too much. Uh, notes. A little bit. All right, so. If you have sync thing running, you'll have this weird URL for the local host. Actually, if I if I could back up just a little bit, mm. um, so we're talking about two things, Michael. Um, mm -hmm. uh, one of them is called sync thing, and and all it does is it makes sure that whoever is participating has the same files and folders. Uh, in so you you pick a directory for your wiki um, and then we kind of like connect everything and then everybody's got those files so that's sync thing and then separately there's kind of the concept of a wiki uh, right now we're using obsidian for it so you you point to obsidian which is an, an app kind of like a text editor or something like that but it looks at multiple files kind of um, you point that at the the file folder that's sync thing has set up for you and then and then you can use it like a wiki so this is sync thing. Go for it, Bill. Yeah. So this is sync thing running on my machine. And so what you kind of see, you see some information about your local device as it's known to sync thing with all its funky, you know, blah, blah. And then it has a folders that either you have created or there's just a default. This is one that Pete and I are sharing. And you notice it says up to date here. This is a list of remote devices that the same thing running on my computer is connected to, or and there's only one, and it's Peter's uh, computer. So if we get you running today, I will have like two devices. One would be yours, and so that so you would start off with this kind of simple thing, and this little folder. To just follow up on Pete, I have open in Obsidian. So you can see the same name, Sync plus Swim. And this just happens to be an Obsidian vault, and we have all this stuff. Can you show that in, um, uh, in I want to say Explorer, but <laughs> Finder. Um, can you show this folder in Finder? Yeah. Uh, documents. Ooh, where do we find this thing? I have a, a trick. You can just right click on a file in Obsidian and say, yeah, I'll just do it this way. Yeah. Uh, so if we go to this sync thing folder, which is I have in documents. 
So you created this folder, right? I created this folder, and then there's this little folder that I created as a uh, a vault for Obsidian, which is you know where Obsidian is. So if we look in there, we just see basically all the files that we see over here. Bunch of files and folders. Files and folders. So these are just files on your computer in some folder somewhere, right. local local to your computer. Right. And if I were to go in here and you know make some changes, they would show up on Peter's machine. Right. Are, are, it, it, is it, you know, somewhat analogous in that in the fact that it lives in your Finder folder structure, somewhat analogous to the way Dropbox is experienced when you have it on a shared. You, yeah, in, it's shared in the cloud or yeah, that's, yeah, that's a yeah. good question. Yeah, yep. same or like OneDrive for for Microsoft. Same, yeah. So I think it's, that's it. I mean, I don't know this. You know, you have it's it's no. a little bit different. So Dropbox is a good example, Michael, and and uh, it's a little bit different with sync thing. You tell it different folders on your computer if you want. You can tell it, you know, I want to sync this folder with my my one buddy and this other folder with a different buddy or a set of set right. of people. Um, it's also it it does do the Dropbox thing where the the files are magically on your computer, but it's different in that there's no central server and there's no company right. that owns everything. It's just right. just between us. Right. Yeah, and Pete has and, more. And, I mean, more. likewise, it's the the if this folder, I don't know if you if you can share at the folder level. And this is sync thing has two you share, at, you share at the folder level. So um but then so everything the under that folder. folder. What's that? Everything under that folder as well, right? So you pick a folder. You pick different okay. folders. It doesn't matter where they are. Sync thing will just, unlike Dropbox, where Dropbox, there's a one Dropbox folder and then there's a bunch of stuff in it. Yeah. Sync thing can have multiple like roots to it in different places. Okay. The, yeah, it's like here where it says folders. There can be all kinds of folders on my disk here that I have elected to share in some way. Okay. So does okay. that make sense yeah yeah um i mean i guess one other question is in the sense that you're saying where folders i mean can you pick any folder anywhere on your computer and say this is a folder share, that share this share, yeah share this yes. with peter share this with pete and yes. michael or yeah, yeah. Okay. um is so sorry with the question is is the sync thing uh specific are there are there identified groups or is it really like at whatever folder level you're sharing whatever is in that folder and you can specify each time this is just pete this is just michael this is pete and michael this is just me bill the, the latter for okay. for each folder you you kind of subscribe people to it okay got it right okay so i guess that's enough mm -hmm. so you, you know you'll if this is going to go successfully and you'll have a web page that looks something like this at some point in this hour mm -hmm. and you know so, some directory that has possibly this one you know that has all this cool right. stuff Pete and i've been sharing and, mm -hmm. and a minor detail it doesn't matter too much. Um, Sync thing is an application, but the front end of it is a, a web page. It's not a it's not an application window because it doesn't need very fancy stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's so the, the little, admin page is is the web page. Yeah, and it's got this little thing in the on the title bar that the whatever that thing's called That's, at the top. The, I think it's a mid. I'm well. I was gonna say it's a menu bar, but I, don't I think, think it is a menu bar. I can't. I guess, anyway, but so it's got some little thing here that you can decide during the day. I'm, I'm done with these people. You know, stop running. And, so you yeah. can quit or you can pause. Yeah. Otherwise, you leave it running the whole time. Kind of like, kind of like you install Dropbox and it's always sitting there doing its stuff. And it doesn't seem to use as many resources. So. And then I, I wonder. Um, I wonder if we should look at Obsidian a little bit. 
Um, do you want to know a little bit more? Um, so we could just be looking at these files with with Finder and with TextEdit or whatever, but we're actually using Obsidian. Do you want to know a little bit more about that or? Yeah, quite? yeah, I guess I guess so. I mean, you should do this part, Pete, because you're really a much more <laughs> adept at Obsidian. By the time I mouse around and click, it, it'll okay. be uh, be slower. Okay, so I'll share my screen. And you can see I've got a HackMD page open. Oh, you can't because I'm not sharing yet. Um, uh, let me, let's, before we switch away to something else, let's look at the same thing on, on my computer. Looks very similar. I'm sharing one additional folder. Um, and then I've got more remote devices. Um, these are mostly actually um, not, not used, <laughs> but that's this is what it looks like when there's more devices. Mm -hmm. um, so then, theoretically, this is just yeah. an aside. But uh, Bill, when I was looking at your hard drive and then seeing this too, I was like, "Oh wow! I didn't know Bill was a musician. He's got a band, that's <laughs> uh, and it's like one of the most important. You know, it's like." A major folder in his, his, his hierarchy. <laughs> yeah. After a split second. <laughs> right. I was given that user ID in 19. I bet. Not. I don't know, 79 or 80, some 81. The, the company I worked for had a big worldwide packet switching network and they gave everybody usernames as small as possible. Right. So I was banned and I've tried to get that ID on every system. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pretty awesome. <laughs> um, apparently there's apparently there's something about there's some banned identifier in the big crypto world. So I, occasionally I get a whole pile of uh, Twitter crap. I have to block all these people because <laughs> well, I do block them because I'm, I'm done. I don't want to hear. <laughs> So, so I'm sure they is, get miffed. They get miffed on the other end. I have no idea. <laughs> and and once in a while, you also get. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you get like somebody goes, "Oh wow, Twitter.com/slash banned. That's that's what I want. I'll uh, I'll tell this guy that he should really give me banned because if I somebody like, offered me thirty five dollars. Like, Seriously, <laughs> orders of magnitude more required, please. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, so here's the, the finder, finder view of it. Um, so the reason we like um, Obsidian is because, let me go down to a page called README. Um, this is, we, by convention, we kind of use README as the homepage for massive wikis. Um, and the, the big thing is that um, you can make links. Uh, so I'm going to switch it to this. And uh, so, you know, we, we typed, we typed all of this stuff in different, different people typed different things in. So at some point we said, oh, we should have a page about, uh, about sync thing. So here's some of our notes about sync thing. And of course, yeah. yeah. If I were running Obsidian, uh, would, would I be able to access or you know with with your cooperation be able to access the wiki without uh having the editing syncing capabilities that i would have with sync thing or the, the way we started with massive wiki is to use git and github instead of sync thing okay. um so and the sync thing is subbing for git in this yeah Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what they <laughs> now I think about it as Git being like a poor replacement for some the peer-to-peer -peer thing like sync thing, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but just I, I have heard yeah. had heard before that, you know, to think of Git as the um... so there's there's something in the middle, and actually maybe a, a good way to let me bring up a page maybe you've seen before, maybe you haven't. Um this is the, the first diagram that we ever made. Yeah, um, right. 
so the idea of massive wiki is that different humans have different and they have they have a copy of the one shared wiki and maybe some other shared ones and maybe not um, but anyway there's something in the middle that, that makes sure that all the files are the same everywhere and so this could be git or it could be sync thing could be a couple other ways too but um sync thing is is super nice because it just kind of works in the background and you don't have to fiddle with it um get you it turns out you you end up doing a little bit more fiddling than we've in, enjoyed <laughs> um I, have, I just have to put, i mean you're yeah. gonna hear this but i am so i am so much in favor of this peer-to-peer -peer in the background you don't think about this kind of sharing thing it just happens not having to think about git i mean i'm really it's pretty I'm, sweet i am enjoying that because now i can focus on what the hell is going into this yeah collection of you know yeah. stuff there's there's some the 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 setup we had with git um enabled a couple things one of them is that we were using github in the middle here and you can either make when it's in the middle it's on a a, a website in the cloud and that can either be public or private and so flotilla for instance um, the wiki um, vincent gets to the the flotilla wiki straight on the github um, website which is kind of a weird way to do it um, and then it, it also we've got it set up so it, it publishes well too so this this website um, is actually a massive wiki that's been synced to github and then made into a there's an automatic process that makes it into a, just a regular website. Um, so that part we don't have running on sync thing, but like Bill says, there's some there's some overhead that we we've grown to dislike with that. Um, even though it's powerful and and enables things, so think sync thing it's kind of like well, conceptually once you get sync thing set up in the middle, it kind of like melts away. And then you're just right. going, okay, there's Bill and there's Pete and there's Michael. Right. And we were, we were all in the same wiki at the same time, kind of without even right. really thinking about it. And, um, and, I, and I'm curious, again, a parenthetical, sorry, but um, it, it is, I mean, same thing is something that you could use, you, you and I, or somebody else and I could use for folder-based file sharing the, the well, main use case for it is time. yeah i you know i Could wish i had i wish i had my documents on my laptop and on my desktop or i wish i have you know family documents i, I want everybody okay. in the family or the company to okay. have them or i want to set up a, a folder with um, all my family photos and think that with all my all my friends and family and so that's what it's for basically yeah kind of yeah. like dropbox but yeah. again it's peer-to-peer -peer instead of um you know, owned by somebody. Um, and then, so we, we talked a little bit about, um, you, you know, wikis, you can make links and stuff like that. And it's easy to edit these pages. And in fact, Bill, um, I did some editing this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking we should make a, so there's a page called, you know, this is where Bill and I have been, or actually mostly Bill has been keeping kind of a log of, of what we're doing as we're working on some of the back end stuff. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to this page and make a copy of it. And then I'm going to rename it. Um, uh, and then I'm going to delete this. And I guess almost know how to delete this. So oh, it's not named notes. It's just going to be a date. Oh, sorry. Well, if it was Bill, he would write notes there just because I so I could why. have saved it that way, and then Bill could have renamed it. But um, I, I didn't mean to take off notes. Well, that's a much better way to do it, so you don't wind up with the stupid untitled thing, because. Uh, oh, you mean the copy? Well, yeah. except, except now that now we've got, uh, <laughs> you can guess what we've got, right? We've got a. Um, uh, well, maybe we don't. I was going to say now we've got uh, a new one called. 11 one or whatever but somehow i didn't anyway um so today we're in a nasa wiki um make a link by typing two square brackets keywords 
stay. And um, when you make a link, it it knows that there's pages and links that exist already, and it offers those up. And I didn't find one, so I just continued to kind of type. Um, Bill, I don't know if you switched over to live preview, but I, I'm in live preview. I don't know how to I get a plain markup anymore. <laughs> I think you, oh. Yeah, I've got to, I think I turned that off, I think. Oh. I got to go back and figure it out. Yeah, there's Obsidian. The trouble is people keep wanting to make things better instead of letting people use things for a while to figure out how to use them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, uh, I'm I'm really happy with with even with live preview. I, so, uh, I, um, <laughs> so Michael, good enough for Obsidian, or you want to see more? Or, um, sure. I mean, you know, if there if there's um, markup beyond the brackets that you're doing for styling that's not visible because of what you were just saying, I might need to see that at some point. But do, do um, you know Markdown at all, or? Eh. I mean, so it's you, enough. You That's of, all you need to know. <laughs> yeah, there's. I we could we could do it real quick. There's um, bullets, uh, right? Which is you can. I, mean, I see it. I see it's what I see in HackMD, right? Yes, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that that can be my. You know. That's good enough. Record. Yeah. yeah. You want um, a num numbered list? Type a number with a period. And, you know, you'll get the next number. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. So. Uh, so maybe we should go for it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, um, so. question being like, I assume I need to um, do some installing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You probably want to show your screen if that's okay. Close all my emails and crap that I've got all over the place. And I think Bill and I did either a good thing or a bad thing. I guess it's actually kind of both. We, we didn't practice this beforehand. Uh, so yeah. we're going to kind of stumble through this with you. Yeah, we're, yes, we're, it's probably rude to lean on your good graces to like <laughs> figure, as we figure out, you know, well, like, chem, like chemistry class. Do we need a flask? Probably, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we should use a glass flask. Exactly glass right. Glass. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm just cleaning up my desk. Yeah, yeah, no worries. So Pete, maybe later I'll uh, I don't know if we'll parent today is a cooking day at our home. Susan's got ideas, so I don't know if we can chat, but maybe I'll just send you a list of some of the programming things so I've, okay that'd be great i've uh, i was gonna say stumble i would just say noticed noticed i have a friend who teaches art she tells, tells her students that's what we want to do we want to just tell me what you notice yeah right that's a good way to do it um a thing i noticed um i was uh i i ended up using a filter for some of those things and then the filter got too complicated and so I ended up with a list com comprehension, which was a lot easier, kind of. I love those list yeah. dictionary set comprehension. That's like yeah. a genius kind of idiom. <laughs> <laughs> I dislike them because I, I feel like the syntax in Pro was more sensical, but but they work fine. So. Yes. Extraneous stuff. Pardon? Um, I mean, I, I, I'm, just oh, getting talking to your computer, right? <laughs> uh, Couldn't we just say things like, you know, hey, S I R I, clean this mess up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm a slack. Sorry, I keep discovering things that I <laughs> got here. Okay. So you can see my screen? Yeah. And actually, it's kind of cool that you've got that up. Because then I can put. Um, oh, yeah, you can put instructions right in there. Yeah. That's genius. Uh, <laughs> right. Oops. 
there's a, a weird thing um the view mode doesn't refresh very quickly or something i don't know if that i don't know what's up with that oh, well maybe if i refresh um, if you click that I, th I think it's better if you click the edit button actually oh, oh yeah right right yeah go for it <clears throat> So just click here or? Yep, you're already there. So uh, you want to click on the sync thing okay. Mac OS down there. Okay. Uh, up, 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 scroll up. up a little bit. Oh, right there. Mac OS application bundle. Oh, I got, it, got it, got it, got it. And if we were doing Windows, maybe we would do sync tracer. But... Um, so then you want the DMG link there. The this one. Yep. yep. So it's funny in trying to make that easy, they made it kind of complex. <laughs> it's always a way. This is the thing that Mark Antoine is going to have a hard time with the hyper knowledge uh, specking out. Like, oh, everybody knows this. Wait, what? <laughs> Try, I didn't write it down. Come on. Um, okay, just like, just like yeah. normal. Yeah. It's like you know what to do here. <laughs> um, and then after it's copied, um, you want to probably unmount this. And the way I would do that is by right clicking on it. Uh, not not there. Right click in the window somewhere. Just in the blank oh, spot. Uh, right click in somewhere the, somewhere in the white part of the that window. Okay. And then yeah. say eject only. Sorry, I'm I'm having a little bit of mouse trouble for some reason. You'll you'll notice yep. my like um, cursor being unresponsive and occasionally going. Quadruple size. I don't know why that is. Uh, what version of the OS you? What's that? What version of the OS you? Um, I think I'm up to date. Okay. Um, yeah. It, 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 that also board. sounds like just gunk on the bottom of your mouse. Yeah, it could be. Though it's something my my scratch pad, you know, my my uh, touch thing also behaves a little strangely. So I think it might be. Um, computer related. Yeah. I dropped my computer about a month ago, and I'm wondering if there's some connection, but maybe not. That sounds like a, a you know, kind of um, a, a, a kind of a hardware thing. Well, I mean, I also my my uh, armchair diagnosis sounds like you know what your mom would say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I dropped it, and it hasn't been liking me. It's mad at me. <laughs> so the kind know. of thing my mother says about her computer. That makes sense. I, that does make sense. Um, I've, I've just, had things like that. It's just I've been reading about, uh, you know, shamanistic, vitalistic ways of looking at the world. I think, you know, you don't want the laptop mad at you. I mean, yeah. You know. No. No. Sorry. The, the weirdest... The weirdest thing like that in, in my life, or one of the weirdest things anyway, was um, when our firstborn was was little, um, 10 months old or something like that, she got a, a pretty bad ear infection and it was on one side and our speaker system, our home speaker system, the, the sound went out on that side and it didn't make any sense. Like the wires were okay and stuff like that. And then as the kid got better, the sound came back and our, our sound system was the weirdest thing. See, this is why we don't speak about these things at scientific conferences, <laughs> <laughs> or even even with a beer well, in the I, bar. A no, good no. scientific conference is is something where the scientists would go, "Hmm, that's interesting." Well, I'm assuming I, I one would hope. Yep, yes, run that. Yep. Double click that baby. Okay. Such a uh, trusting soul I am. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So then you see up in your menu bar, you've got a sync thing icon. 
and uh, it's a lot like the the Dropbox icon. Okay. Um, so now, uh, yeah, to, that's how you open up the the web console to it. Nice. Woohoo! You can ignore. Well, okay. Um, you can say no if you want. So like, whatever. Uh, Oh, well, I'll say yes for now, just because it'll educate me now. Um, it, this is just for oh, oh, the community. Oh, this is, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, say, just say no here. And then maybe later when you're more part of the community, you go, ah, I get it. I get why they would do that. So this, uh, this you probably don't want to do. I ignored this, even though Pete and... Uh, and Mark were really. I think I, I I think I ignored it the second time I said that. Yeah, the, yeah. Um, just 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 click OK, and we can come back and think about whether or not that's the right choice someday. But it's fine. Um, so now you'll see that default folder that you've probably seen on on Bill's and mine. That's something that it set up. This is kind of like the equivalent of the, you know, the Dropbox folder, the sync thing folder. Um, we haven't been using this at all, and in fact, you could actually delete it out of here. But we've the been default leaving it. Folder? Yeah, yeah, it, it's probably reasonable to kind of just leave it there. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's sort of default personal folder, right? I mean, it's just something that until I, yeah, it's until something you on your it. on your disk, and you can decide to like share it or rename it or do whatever. You know, I, yeah. yeah, I think we. Pete it's and just I an just, empty folder. Yes, right. I'm uh, I'm really jealous of your identification there, Xflub too. That's that's pretty sweet. Where is it? What's that? Oh, over in this device, uh, second from the bottom. Oh, this is. Oh, uh, oh yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the the nickname for your machine, ran randomly <laughs> generated. So mine is PJ, which is still pretty cool. Uh, my wife's name is Joanne, PJ WVUS. So but I am Xflub. Now and forever. X Club. Brilliant. That's your next, next year X license plate, man. Go for yeah. it. <laughs> I I think uh, so. Maybe this is a good time. I think if you so now, Bill, are we going to like read docs or are we just gonna like wing it? <laughs> um, I, I like winging I, it. Yeah, no, I think we know. We're just trying to. So we, I think he's gonna so click on yeah, identification add remote device or a, okay. Is yeah, actually, right? add remote device is good. So we can do it two ways. Basically, one of you know one of our computers needs to know your computer, right. Right. or vice versa, right? So what I was thinking is, uh, if you cl click Xlub, you too. That's mm -hmm. way, man. Um, so. Xflub2 is actually just the beginning of a much longer identifier. So this is your unique, unique identifier. Um, and actually, if I if I wanted to, now I could I could uh, take a picture of that QR code and add it to my uh, to my phone. Um, so that identifies your computer. So we basically one side either you need to tell us what this is, or we need to tell you what ours is, and then right. you know, and then the two computers can handshake and go, oh wow, okay. And so we can do it in either direction. I, um, what would be like, I'm, I'm just trying to think what's the best thing for me to learn in terms of the ability to be, be proactive. Kind of, yeah. kind of the simple thing, I think the, the simple one would be for somebody who's more savvy about this. What they would do is they would say, hey, click XFlub2. And then that long string you see, copy and paste that into the chat, either into Zoom chat or Mattermost or the. Right. So, and then they would they would take care of doing the stuff that you know, but if you want to learn more, maybe oh, what you want yeah. to do is the other way around. Okay. Uh, you can say, Hey Pete, Hey Bill, what's your right. uh, device identifier? Yeah. So you'd click Add Remote Device, and then yeah. we'd have to give provide an identifier for you which you could so, which you could give me in in uh the in chat or in or, chat or or i'll be in the, the hackmd today hackmd yeah, yeah. yeah. so I mean, let's do just, that click yeah. that i realized that i just realized that if this video is shared i've just allowed anybody to take a picture and it, like, it doesn't matter too much this is a little bit like your email address this is right you know, so 
I mean, I didn't figure it was going to put things on my computer, but I mean, I could be like. You could get spam now. Yeah. If somebody was watching this, now. um, they could send your <laughs> device the thing that says, Hey, you want to connect? And then you would go, oh, crap. You, you can pixelate that in post, right? Pete? I, I can. <laughs> I'm not too worried. Um, words, but yeah, I think if this turns out to be a big threat surface, then uh, we all have some problems, including the sync thing, folks. Um, and and the the fix is probably to change your identification rather than yeah, uh, just um, yeah. So click uh, add remote device, and then um, I'm going to put my device identifier um, in. I'm going to have to probably refresh to see. Uh, you should click edit yeah, you, in the upper Click right. edit. Look at it. Okay. Yeah. And then the weird thing is, I think you can click the, the eye icon on that. Well, I, no, this is better. Never mind. So, same thing. Now mine is shared and subject to spam and might get pixelated. And I, I'm not going to pixelate stuff, actually. <laughs> and so. Uh, so then you should, in device name, uh, you want to remember who this is. So you can say Pete's computer. Um, uh, the name of this computer is actually Syncretia. Um, so you might type that um, because I might have more than one computer. But it doesn't matter too much. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, I have it as Syncretia hyphen PK just so. But it doesn't matter. This is just an, you know, it's name. for you to help remember. And then click save. Okay. Uh, so now you've got, um, uh, well, you can see there, there's unused means there isn't anything, uh, it, there's no file folders being shared. Disconnected right. means that we don't even, our computers aren't really talking to each other. Yeah. Um, why don't we, uh, why don't we go, uh, I'll, I'll share my screen now. Okay. And we can see the, the handshake part of that. Um, so for better, or for worse, I guess this didn't change, uh, but there is a little exclamation mark here um, mm -hmm. on, on the browser. So I've got a little notification. It says, oh wow, factor MacBook number three local. X Club two. Oh my gosh, I definitely want to connect with this one. <laughs> um, so so here's where I could say, oh, this is spam. Um, uh, or maybe it's not spam, but I don't want to do this right now. Um, or I can click add device. So I'll do that one. Um, we could just click save and then our computers would be connected. I'm going to go a little bit step, uh, one further step. Um, actually, I'm also going to notice that this is, um, doesn't say your name. So I'm going to add your name so that I remember it. And I'm going to delete this local part because it's just noise. Yeah. Um, I could click save and then our computers would be connected, but I'm going to go a step further and click the sharing tab. Um, uh, and you wanted to add a new folder for this when we were chatting a week ago. I did. That's what you said. We should do this with something new, but <laughs> I'm like totally okay to like sink and swim it's, in our own on robot. Or yeah. I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's do sink and swim. Um, so these are the folders that, um, right. that my sync thing knows about on my computer. I can pick any of these and share them. Mm -hmm. Um, these are other things we can get into later. Um, I don't, yeah. I don't want either. Of those I haven't right even now. looked at most of that. So if I didn't trust you, uh, I don't know how this encryption works, but I, I trust you. We don't have, we haven't been doing this yet. Uh, so then I'll click save, and then you're going to be in my list. And then I think, 
All righty. Um, so maybe we should, you should share now. Oh, got it. And I realize I, I probably, now that I see the examples that you have with different devices, I probably should have put your name before Simplicia, I, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So now I need, uh, I need uh, Michael's uh, thing and I can add him. Yep. So I don't, we haven't, we haven't thought too much about I, I think that well or should he i should i just give him my my id and he can add me which is what we did the last time i think yeah either way the weird thing is we i mean i'm sharing i i think so even if you don't peer with michael you're gonna sync through my computer right oh yeah sure no, i know oh. i know yeah sorry well that's an but, interesting option just to well, I, I think I think we should be peer to peer to peer. I think that's better. So I think you guys should exchange yeah. ideas too. All right. I'll oh, uh, so yeah. So um, I think you want to say you want to put documents right, after Michael Factor. You want Michael Factor slash capital D documents slash. Just so it's appearing in my documents folder. Yeah. yeah, just not on your not at your root directory there. Now, if I'm, I'm curious um, because because I use Dropbox. If I'm, I mean, they're they're just going to be syncing separately. They're going to ignore each other. Right. Well, if unless. <laughs> I mean, the thing is that all the rest of my folder hierarchy for the most oh, everything part, documents, for instance. Yeah, my, my my documents folder is not where the action is for me. I, I do. I have different things broken down in my Dropbox so I can access it from different devices. Um, but I don't need I mean, I, I won't do that to you guys because then it would probably work, but then our sync thing instance won't be strictly peer to peer because it'll be in in um, Dropbox. As well. um, that's that's yeah. very perceptive to to ask that question. Um, with sync and swim, sync plus swim, for what it's worth, I think um, Bill and I don't care, and it would be perfectly fine to sync for the it. time being. Yeah, right. Yeah. Do you want to put this in another subfolder or do you want to see i've made a one that's just called sync thing to keep my documents folder from I, being I, over, overrun yeah that's fair i i put i've got my sync thing i was going to have you add another folder in there folder thing in there michael which is document yeah. slash sync thing slash yeah. okay. um but but you could also do it Bill's way, not even have it in documents. You could have a separate top level thing called sync thing. Oh, no, I'm just trying to say this thing you just said. So I'm sure I've oh. totally miscommunicated that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having my last struggles. Was it sync? Yeah, you can oh, get it right. Yep. Yeah, doesn't matter. I think it's lowercase t, but. Uh, lowercase t, yeah. yeah. All right. I think I would click the OK first. I don't know that. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess it, it, it would frustrate the thing. thing. Good to say, this is something that can't be changed, right? That's true. That's the idea for the, um, for the, the this folder. Idea. Yeah, that's, you yeah. know. Okay. Uh, Oh, and this this can be changed on different devices. So yep. I'm curious yeah. if in my documents folder I did end up putting my sync thing folder in a I don't know you know my collective intelligence area. You know, if I is is the is the folder path immutable now like i can't screw with that or we're not going to sync or could i add a level you of could, you could 
change it, I think I I'm not sure exactly. I, I won't do it. I, I'll, I'll just it's a good question. Might, I, I think it's editable. Yeah, um, you, I think you'd the way I would do that. I would I would stop sync thing. I would move the folder, and then I would start it again and change it in here. You can change right. this later. Um, you know, actually, I th maybe I would do it the other way. You could just change it in here. And I think sync thing would just leave the old one and make the new one. Yeah, because if it doesn't, it'll create a folder if it, if it doesn't yeah. find it. Okay. So, if, if you want to do that right now. No, 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 no. I was just, you know, I mean, I'm doing this for this. Um, yep. um, so but before you click save there, let me let me look at one thing and let me I'll share my screen so that you can see what I'm looking at. Um, uh, so this is basically the same thing that you've got. Yeah, yeah. You can't change it. So I could add a new one at a different location. Um, the thing I was wondering about was um, uh, ignore <laughs> patterns. <laughs> um, So I think we're going to want to go in and and th this is actually a page in the wiki. So um, we'll we'll start the sync and then we'll copy this out of the wiki into into sync thing. I think. Um, yeah. And then I'll, the other. Thinking about my fair grade, but okay. Yeah. No, don't worry. It's just it's just it's a little bit of you know the man the, behind the curtain needs a little bit of info. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, and then file versioning is a little bit more important, I think. Um, so. Bill, I don't know if you played around with this recently, but I think trash can is the one that I liked. Okay, um, I don't think I did trash can. I think I did the simple, but okay, I can. I, move as, to as far as I remember, trash can just it just keeps all of them forever, basically. Yeah, so that could be it. <laughs> that could yes. have its own issues later. But, well, and maybe it's worth um, maybe it's worth thinking about this real quick a little bit. Mm. I think if I do, yeah. Yep. Um, so this is a good one, right? So I'm a little surprised there's only one. I thought there would be more. So yeah. maybe. OK, well, I can. Ah, well, so maybe this is what I need. Maybe I need a versions path or something like that. Uh... Well, I got to read it again. I had the web page open. So. Okay. So this is a, a homework thing for, for Bill and I to figure this file versioning out a little bit better. Actually, I'm going to ask a quick question um, just because I was just thinking through the, the folder path and the fact that the documents, it on a Mac with an iCloud user, um, I, I don't use iCloud. I mean, I, it's it, Dropbox is where I, I do my thing, but yep. my documents folder is, I, I, believe, I think it's, you know, replicated in iCloud. Yep. Um, and if I want to use sync thing as an alternative to Dropbox or iCloud, should I not put the documents should I have it be at that high folder level? In my I, I, would, I would probably not put it in documents. I'd put it in a separate sync thing. thing. Yeah. 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 So it, it'll be visible to me at the same, you know, it'll, it'll be in my like top level sidebar yeah. of my binder. Okay. Well, the, the sidebar is a completely different thing. You just drag shortcuts I mean, over there. You could make it, um, make it visible there for sure. Yeah, I could make you it could. visible. Even if it wasn't. But, but it would be at the same level as documents and probably drop boxes at that yeah. level too. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you want to share your screen again? Um, sure. I'm and just, so you're going to, you're going to kill the documents part of that and just leave it at flash. Like um, let me see. If, uh, sorry. These are really smart, Michael. So thanks. This was there. We, 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 we picked a good dummy today, man. This was excellent. All right. Yeah, not, not a double. Double his pay here. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Share. Okay. Literally, this is a lot more thoughtful than, than when we got started. We just kind of went hellbent for leather. And it's like, okay, I guess it works. <laughs> so, wait, where am I? Uh, what he said, oh, okay. So, I just. I'm kind of surprised that, because you clicked add already, I think, right? Maybe not. No, I don't think. Oh, wait. Because no. we started typing in that that thing. Maybe it. I, maybe you closed it. I'm gonna guess. That's weird. Huh. Did I accidentally. I would click out again. Okay. Yes. Now. And we didn't click save on the bottom there. We got well, it. But I had the, this open, and I and I edited this. I took out the missed it. Document. But somehow I must have accidentally closed it with my yeah. yeah. mouse. We'll blame it on your mouse. Or I will. I don't know if you will. User error. No, I don't think that's true. Not an but error. Now click uh, file versioning, at least. Uh, um, and I think I would at least pick trash can. Pick trash so we'll can. See. And cool. then we want to leave that zero days. Just leave everything is. alone. Yeah. Um, so then we'll come back to sharing and put the ignore patterns in there, but we don't need to do that yet. Do save though. So actually. All right. You can save. My mouse will let me see that on my mouse books. I do see that. Woohoo! So All now right. it's syncing the wiki. Very exciting. Yeah, so now you have all the files. Yeah. Um, just for the heck of it, under remote devices there, and the, the middle button is recent changes. Try clicking that. Whoa. So this will show all the things that, you know. Yeah, you got everything. It shows everything that's on your computer. Mm -hmm. What yeah. thing is recognized as recently changing, which is, you know, everything. <laughs> I think, Pretty I much. think we should connect to the two of you's computer now. Computers. Okay, yeah, because I got to get off in another yeah, five minutes or so. So I should just put my ID in the, in in the, the HackMD. Hack yeah, let me just go do that. Uh, I don't think I opened the HackMD. <laughs> All right, uh, Zoom. Um, another good way to exchange these is on like a chat thing, yep. like the uh, channel on Mattermost or Telegram or whatever. Hang on, let me, I got a signal. You know, the funny thing is I think I, I know it, Bill. That's all right, here we go. So um, I'm just curious, this uh, so by um, having access to um, sink and swim and um, okay, I put it there. I'm, I'm seeing like I'm seeing edits from uh, sorry back to so then um let's see if I can remember this. So Andrew Mouth device. Uh, oops, shit. Uh let's, let's, let's say do which this can say. Yeah, my computer's named Beckett, if you care. Okay. I'm going to, um, I'm going to update, it, it won't, it's okay for me to update you the can name change of, that. Yes. oh yeah, device names, sure. Yeah, yeah, because I'll, I'll follow the convention. 
Okay, now I'll, you'll have to click save and then I'll have to do something on my end. So now Bill has to share his folder. And if I wanted to rename to the, the same name, then yeah, the just, just, name just click that. Device. Hold on, let me just add the device. And then if, I think it's okay if we multitask. Click that and then uh, scroll down a bit and there's edit. Um, it, it turns out actually, it, unless, well, I, we have already had this use case. Um, uh, I was going to say you could leave off Syncretia, uh, except that, um, except that we've had situations where I, each Bill and I both have had two devices. Um, and then, um, okay. So I've got Michael's device. I think that's what we have to do, right? I think you have to share your folder. I don't know if you did yet. Really? Which which kind of blows my mind because if you shared, well, I guess it knows the shared with edit sharing. Oh, add right. Oh yeah. Okay. So then it's using that OWZ thing to understand that it's the same one that's already shared. So I should click share. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we can all make a mess in the same folder. <laughs> well, I think you're going to go off to do uh, lunch stuff. Yeah. Um, should. Michael and I keep going a little bit and do Obsidian, or should we wait? Should we hold here and, and pick up Obsidian next week? Well, but you guys decide what you want to do. I just want, you know. So, one way to help us if this is, and to learn something would be for you to basically add some items to this folder. Either so I've been thinking about kind of this thing we did last Wednesday, and, you know, I'm having a bad day here. So, let's, <laughs> so it'd know. be kind of boring to do that, or it'd be kind of, um uh it, it it'd be more interesting to do that with obsidian than with text edit or tech bar or something yeah but anyway i'm going to jump off okay cheers thanks for the help michael i think it was really really useful to just this is really useful cold yeah. here good yeah okay. and michael you want to keep going or do you want to uh, yeah i guess um but but I can't go too long just because I've got to jump up some other stuff. But um, but if I mean you you can gauge hey, yourself how hey, uh, like ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Sure, minutes. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the the next thing to do would be to set up Obsidian, but then that's kind of a whole adventure in itself, and it may be it may be better just to hold off. I don't know. Okay. Either way, and I mean, if as it stands with. Um, with looking, I mean, I guess I should go back to my finder. Um, so, the sync thing. It's interesting. That that whole left thing is just shortcuts that you've dragged over there. Oh, right. Okay. So if I go to. Um, and for what it's worth, one of my things that I've dragged over there is my home directory. But if you go to desktop or Dropbox or and then do a uh, command up arrow. Uh, do desktop and then command up arrow. But not in the iCloud one, yeah. The whole iCloud thing is we do, I don't trust it. Uh, no. Command up arrow. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm, I'm, my mouse is is uh. So this is your main folder, right? Sure. And it says yeah. iCloud, iCloud, iCloud Drive. 
So luckily, I guess, or so, uh, sync thing isn't in here, which is fine. Well, oh, so sync thing is up still further from this? Might be. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a, in a different place, kind of. But try it. Uh, try going command up arrow here. I just did, and it didn't do anything. Yeah, um, I, I, I cloud drive is kind of the root. Um, so it's a separate route from your the the hard drive on your computer. Interesting. Okay. So uh, uh, do Dropbox and then up arrow, command up arrow. Oh, okay. All right. So um, that might get us there. So yeah, uh, users might all factor. Um, sorry. Um, <laughs> wow. This is really just me trying to drag my mouse around and not. Yep. Uh, yep. Um, I presume you've rebooted. Since you have been having trouble with the track. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it generally it makes a little bit of a difference. So I could do that, but. Um, well, I if you've I mean, rebooted it, more... I don't think it's software. I think it's separate hardware things. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. All right. There you go. So yeah, um, and so like if I just stick a text folder in, I mean, is it, should, would it make sense to make a folder in here that's sort of, you know, Michael screwing around that? You, you totally you could, could uh, except, or, or it, except culturally. No. <laughs> well. I get it, yeah. It, it, feel free to screw, screw around with all of this. <laughs> um, you don't have to like, partition yourself off unless it feels like you you want to well so if, i mean i can i can just looking sort of get a sense of what is happening and what is yeah what is readable without obsidian uh, all of it's you know all of it you can do without obsidian it's just easier with obsidian kind of okay okay um, um Try so. There's a the the I created a file in Tools and Practices Development, which is maybe a, a weird thing in retrospect. But if you go in there, um, you can actually edit that file and say, you know, Michael was here or something like that. Uh -huh. I think if you hit Return on a folder, it would open it. I guess maybe not. Maybe it edits it. Oh, shit, what did I just do? <laughs> God, uh, maybe I better reboot and stop and, and I'll. <laughs> um, so feel free to play around with it. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I, I will. I will play around with care and. Um... Yeah, um, so it looks like you've got an editor for Markdown already associated with stuff. Um, Which, yeah, just play around with it. Have fun. Okay. Don't worry, All you right. can't screw anything up. Okay, okay. Well, this was um, educational. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot. Yeah. It, it's funny, we didn't get to a place that's like, like, well, actually, no, I guess you're looking at files that were on somebody else's computer now they're on yours. Yeah, yeah, and, so I, really and cool. if nothing else, I mean, I'm introduced to sync 
um, to sync thing and thinking, hmm, I should use this with my wife. And, you know, yep. And yep. like there are some things that um, this would be better than Dropbox for. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So we got some place. We did. We um, did. And Obsidian's going to be a whole other fun adventure. But it, it actually, maybe it's a good thing to kind of poke around just through Finder and, and text editor or whatever markdown editor you've got here and kind of get the lay of the land just as files. And okay. then that's probably a, almost a better way to do it than to start from Obsidian. So yeah, there you go. Thanks a lot, Michael. And um, if, you, if you don't mind um, sharing the, this video, I, I might want to return to it just for like. Yeah, yeah. What you say about this? Yeah. Um, I'm, my, my intent is to put it up on YouTube. Um, okay, I was going to say, or you could put it in a folder and say it's fine. <laughs> or, or I don't know if there's any place where other things that we've done. It seems like, you know, uh, uh, videos we, of past massive wiki things might want to live in something fun. Yeah, uh, um, I would. I would actually. I would put them in a in another uh, folder um, uh -huh. because because they're going to get big real fast. Yeah, sure. Um, but that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Maybe someday we'll be peer to peer sharing pictures and videos and stuff. I'll, I'll experiment that with that, um, you know, with my wife or something. Awesome. Okay. Cheers. Cheers to you. Thanks. We'll see you around. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.